Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Auto Tech TV. And in today's episode, we are going to be following along with Group Racing Group, FRB, and they are running at Mazda Raceway in Laguna Seca. And so we're going to be watching them in their race number two of their Indies series. And we will go ahead and get right into that pace lap. For the pace lap, I am following around SSR Shane. Is Shane going to give Deltic a run for the money? I think so, yeah. Shane is really quick. Definitely Your mouse some names in, in here I do screen, not uh, uh, do not recognize. Saying. What's that? Your mouse is in the middle of the screen. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it showing up on the stream? On the yeah, not anymore, no. It's gone, it's gone. It's ah. okay. <laughs> it, right, it was me... for, for a bit. It's still there. Let me see. I'll see that I have uh, display capture instead of game. There we go. Let me swap it. There we go. Now you can't <laughs> see my mouse no more. Thank you very much for the host spirit. <clears throat> yeah, I think Shane is going to give uh, uh, Deltic a run for his money. Shane is a really quick driver. He's not a regular in this series, but um, he showed up a couple of times in the last couple of years. He's, he's really, really fast. Yeah, thank you for the spark spirit. These races are something else. I love them. Mm -hmm. I think my stream quality is... Uh, there's something wrong with it. You see it? It's like uh, a bit I don't have it up. I can take a look at it. Mm -hmm. I have the co-stream open in front of me. Nah, you look fine. Okay, there they go. There they go. Yeah, it looks like a I lot mean, of You got a couple little me. areas where the, the buy trait might be dropping down a little bit. You're pixelating. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, your stream looks pretty good. Really interesting battle here. 10th place between Redrum and Daddy Cool. And JC Cars trying to sneak through. The change is pulled away completely in the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's always the case with a base uh, lap. Because the leader can choose when he goes and the rest has to react to it. So he always has a little head start. That's IndyCar. I'm spectating okay. Redrum, and so far he's uh, in ninth place now. He moves up one spot. We're gonna switch back he's being to chased by JC Carr and Unfathomed. Mm -hmm. Second place here with Deltic, and who's that? FVR behind him chasing him down. Seems to be pretty evenly spaced. Deltix's spaced. usual fast self. Man, these cars are quick. <laughs> it's amazing to watch. <clears throat> One of last week's main contend contenders, uh, Curve, sitting back in fourth place. Rustic chasing him down close behind. It looks like is that Simon right back Simon. there? Yep, Simon's right back there in sixth place, looking to uh, contend with that battle. Oh, well, we got two cars off in the uh, pits. What did we miss back there? Uh, they race with full damage on, so probably you're looking at like a little damage from touching each other in that course through. Or what also happens in the first lap nope. a lot because it's crowdy and you kind of miss your attention sometimes is that they shifted in the wrong gear in a, in a couple corners and they have to go f in for a gearbox change already. Big change of positions. We've got Curve dropped all the way back to six to completely miss that. Uh, Rustic in fourth, Simon in fifth. Curve trying to get Pat. Yep. Curve attacking Simon on the outside, coming down the straightaway into the corner. Falls the back in line, couldn't complete the pass. Still sitting around on the outside. Still can't complete it. Got Incognito barking on Curve's door in the background. 
Curve really trying hard to get past Simon. Coming down the hill, making that hard right. Incognito looking to take Curve on the inside. Not quite ready to set up for the attack. Oh, oh, what happened there? What happened there? There's the two guys going in the pits. Curve in the yeah, pits. Yeah, I see them. in the pits. Looks Something like two happened. teammates uh, ran into I each other. I looked down at the chat and missed exactly what happened, but they must have ran into each other, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two, two teammates hitting each other. That's never a good thing, track. but it happens. Uh, who is that? Somebody went a lap down. Went a lap down. Off the track back there. Uh, diesel. Diesel. Okay. Yep, Diesel. The lap down went off the track, and I'm trying to get the 15th place here. Yeah, uh, Daddy Cool is going down a lap. Heading back into the pits. It looks like. Oops, I'm getting a black screen with a... Yeah, okay. Back. I saw you were getting the same thing. And there's not a car in the pits. Nope. Yes, nope. yeah, that's yeah, uh, yeah, Daddy Cool, I believe. Daddy cool. <laughs> We've currently got Shane yeah, in got first, Shane Deltic in second, Delta. Willow in third, fourth is Rustic. Fourth. Fifth is Incognito. Sixth is Captain Wilski. Seventh is Red Rum. Eighth is I'm Fathom. Nine is JC Carr. Tenth is going to be Powell. Eleventh will be Matt. Twelfth will be Red Troop. Thirteenth is going to be Simon. Fourteenth, Curve. Fifteenth, Daddy Cool. Sixteenth is going to be Diesel. Seventeenth is. Fischelia? Fisichella, that's uh, named Fisichella. After... It's named after an F1 driver, Giancarlo Fisichella, Italian F1 driver, from in the 90s, early 2000s. Oh, gotcha. gotcha. Learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> exactly. I wasn't including the party audio in my stream, but it should be fine now. I think they can hear you now. <clears throat> Can you just do a mic check real quick? Uh... Testing, testing, one, two, three. Yep, it's working. Riding around with Captain Whiskey in that bright green machine. Number 95. I like how his number is very visible. Yes, yeah, some drivers have it like really small on the nose of the car or something, and uh, he chose to go for a really big number on the side of the car. <laughs> I'm currently spectating uh, Incognito, and his, I think it's cool, but it's also terrible. He has a G.I. Joe livery. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We're going to go ahead from first to last. We'll go ahead and take a look at everybody's. Paint jobs, give them a little bit of a showcase here. Looks like we got SSR Shane in a stable number one. Uh, 60, no, 69, number 69 today. In second place, we'll run back to Delta. He's most of the times in a Japanese anime livery. Yep, he's got his anime, went for that today. shrimp, shrimp. Mobile, the strip mobile. Does he got a number on that car? I don't think he does. Nope. But they all have a registered race number anyway, so it's okay. We know who uh, who they are. <laughs> and then we got FVR Willow, who is in Battleship Gray. Yep. He went for a pretty basic livery, I see, but that's okay. <laughs> It doesn't look horrible. He's, he's horrible. still looking for sponsors, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Riding back with it's Rustic right. over here. 
Yeah, Rustic is in his all Belgian livery. Belgian flag colors, Belgian brands on it. Does he, what's his number? Can we see it? Nope. His number is, should be number seven, and I think it's on the front of his car. Yep. It says FRB7 on the front. Gotcha. On the nose. Yeah. And oh, right an eight, four way Kyle. battle going on in sixth place, seventh, eighth, ninth. You'll get there. Yeah, Cognito went ninth. for the G.I. Joe livery today. It has a really big G.I. Joe logo on the sides. <laughs> Riding along here. With red rum. Red rum. Number two, blue number machine. Two. Bought back here. Oh, back here. somebody just went off the track. Off the Captain Wilski. Captain Wilski off the track. Off the Dropped track. back to tenth place. Looks like he just uh, just got a little bit of damage into the back of Powell. back of Powell. See if he needs the pit this time around. Yeah, my stream is not going to be useful for uh, taking clips today, I guess. It's looking uh, a bit worse again, but that's okay. Run back up the red run here real quick. Back to Unfathomed. Number 14 is about to be lapped already. Who's this? Oh, it's Madbo, and he went into the pits. He's not on the lead lap anymore now. Ride right, back with JC right, Carr and his Carr. players. Number, in, was that 93? He's running with that paint scheme. That's a paint scheme he uh, spent a lot of time on to make. Uh, it's not one he downloaded, it's one he made himself. One he it's, made uh, himself, yeah. Jacques Villeneuve's uh, winning IndyCar livery. And since he's also Canadian, of course, that's the one he uh, chooses to replicate. Running all over the back of Red Rum's bumper, trying to find a way around. I'm gonna put mine on spectating first place. There we go. And I'll be back in a minute. Red Rum's trying to get past Fathom. Oh, what was that? JC fell back off the pace after a bad corner. Got Powell barking on his back door. Red rum in the pit.
Come back. We got Dozer's already left the race. Yeah, he just sent to the team chat. He got lagged, he lagged out in uh, lap two. Engine failure for That's Dover. what we call on. Uh, that's what we call on engine failure. Yep. yep. Uh, he might be back for the second race though. If he does, he'll JC get, in the he'll get pole position. The, uh, because... Damage on the front of his car after he came in contact with Red Rum. Today they're doing two 40-minute uh, races instead of one long one. So the second race will be reverse grid for all those that started the first one. So if Dozer's back for the race two, he'll be on pole position. I'm not sure if it was from making contact with Red Rum that JC went into the pits or if it's right there at his time for his fuel mark. They're at lap 14. Mm -hmm. Knowing JC, if he had damage and he was close to his uh, pit window, he would probably stay out with damage until it was the right time to pit. He's the most calculated driver in the series, I think. He knows exactly what will happen in every lap with his fuel and tires and everything Sounds good, Aether. You take it, take it easy, bud. We'll be done here in about 15 laps. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go back to uh, building that shirt. <laughs> so keep your eyes open. Not a lot of excitement on the track today. Very spread out field. It's a very difficult track to get around. Time on closing the door to JC. JC with a huge gap out of those corners. Car off the track up in the corner up there. Is that Captain Wilski off the track again? Couldn't tell if it was Wilski or Fathom. Best lap so far is going to be first place with SSR Shane at a minute nine seconds, point one four zero. Top speed on the track today is FRB Daddy Cool at 391 miles per hour. 
It seems a little off. <laughs> How many? It says 391. <laughs> well, you're laughing with that, but if he got rammed in the back by someone really hard in one of the corners, that might be ah, possible. It would, have, it would have boosted it up. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. That but that's definitely cool. that's definitely not a. Uh, that's definitely not a normal on track. speed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's not an on track speed. These cars are quick, but not that quick. He's running. Uh, Shane's running with a three and a half second lead. Mm-hmm. And he's being un or no, he just he's lapping people. Yeah. Oh, I'm off spectating the track. Shane Who at the moment. That? Oh, we're spectating the same person. That's not a good idea. Wilski. I'm gonna look for a different battle on track somewhere. Seventh place, for example, I see them in a battle. Uh, I think yep. JSP and Simon had uh, had a battle coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Red Drum, JC, and Simon is this, right? A very difficult track for a lot of people. Yeah, this one of my favorite tracks. will be even more challenging. Uh, we're going to uh, Long Beach uh, after this. Long Beach for the next one? Yep. Yeah. Also, 40 minute race. And Long Beach is a track with a lot of walls that are close to the track. Has the uh, next series been determined already? Yep, next month we're doing a uh, sport touring cars. Like, uh... How's it going? Welcome mm -hmm. to the stream. Gains up to a six second lead. Oh, this is interesting. JC and Redrum are in a battle, and Shane is about to lap him at the same time. Maybe you should spec me first place uh, for a moment. Oh uh, no, they're letting him by. Nice. Oh, while well, staying in a battle, battle themselves. This is interesting. Well, Eritrean, this way you're not m completely missing out. You can still watch it. <laughs> Eritrean yep, is someone that, that races running. with us on a regular basis, so. <laughs> Uh, it's his tune that some of the people are running today, isn't it? What did you say? Sorry, I didn't catch that. So that isn't it his tune that uh, some of the guys are running? Yeah, 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 correct. I'd definitely be interested in uh, picking up a tune for the next one. That way I can see what kind of laps I can put down compared to you guys. I just want to start seeing if I can at all get uh, get quick enough to... To actually run Participate. with you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're looking at years and years of practice here, and I'm sure you can pick up the pace and and uh, be able to join. But challenging for points is going to be something different, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to be able to be a points contender until uh, until I get a wheel set up. Mm -hmm. I already know that. Um, it uh, seems like there was three guys I heard of at least running it. I'm not sure. Routine, do you know who's all running that tune? Uh, no, no. I'm, I'm think you can see it in the telemetry somewhere. If you scroll through the drivers. 
I have not. I, I did not run this track at all. I had no time to prepare for this race. Um, after this race is done, though, I will probably jump in and I will give your tune a try and see what I can pull off out of it. I know with uh, with Routine's tune on the last track on Road America, or was it Road America or Road Atlanta? Road America. On Road America, um, I pulled off a 107, I think was my fastest. JC is using my tune, for example. If you um, click on the um, that little helmet mm -hmm. in the spectate menu, which one? And uh, the little helmet next to the finish flag. Yep. yep. Yeah, and put it on car info. Okay. And then you scroll to the drivers. You can see whose tune they're using. JC, for example, is using my tune. Exactly. And the you can see made who by the livery by too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, right. so but JC then... made a livery himself, so if it says not available next to livery buy, that means they made it themselves but haven't shared it. They're all people. so Red Rum's using Shane's tune. Powell is using a tune by PPS Lucky. And a livery by Blade. That is so interesting. Yeah, I didn't notice that. And mm -hmm. Curve is Curve. using... Ah, Curve is using your Curve. tune. And Livery is not available. So I'm guessing that's when we've made our own? Mm -hmm. Correct. And if he shared it, it would say a Livery by F or B Curve, for example. But gotcha. he didn't share it with other people. So. Uh, SSR Fun for Us fun for is us. being used by Red Troop. By Red Troop. And Fathom's using my tune, I see. There was another one I saw using oh, my tune. Is in the pits. Simon is using his own tune. Mm -hmm. And he didn't share it with anyone. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> Doesn't seem to have done him any favors, but at least he tried. Mm-hmm. We keep getting cycled back to curve as he falls back into the paces. All right, oh, we lost All a couple right. more people. Did we? Yep, we lost Matt. Yep. Matt's not seeing... got engine failure. Dozer's got engine failure. So we lost at least. Two. I'm not seeing the ticker anymore at the moment. How do I get this race Daddy ticker cool back? Daddy Cool is running top. his own. I don't know, I haven't gotten rid of mine. Diesel's <laughs> <laughs> um, running his own tune. Yeah, loop data, here we go. Looks like the guys that made their own tune and didn't share it, like, are not having a real advantage at the moment, so. Yeah. I see that. I could have done that last week because I had a really good tune, but then I'm not that kind of person that keeps it for himself. So there was a lot of people using my tune last week, but I don't mind. Yeah, I see JC running it. Yeah. Top speed 391. I know. Yeah, that's what I was talking the routine about. Like, how is that possible? He said he probably got rear-ended by somebody into a corner, jumped the speed. Incognito coming out of the pits. One of the ones running his own too, and he's up in fifth place, not sharing. So. Rustic is running uh, the fun for us tune. All right, and so we are currently at lap number 25 out of 30. And what is going on right now? is that the lead cars are coming to a stop and everybody who is a lap down is being allowed to catch up and get on the lead lap. That makes it so the other racers have the ability to maybe catch up from whatever mistakes were made by other players or themselves during the race to make the game more exciting, more fun, the race more more fun and exciting for everybody. 
A, we get a closer finish at the end with all of our racers that we get to watch. And B, the racers get to kind of maybe recover from some of the early mistakes that might have been made and uh, moved on. So it looks like everybody's lined up and everybody's ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump back in and watch the restart of the end of the race here. Yeah, but are they damaged? No idea. It happens sometimes in the pace lap. It's... Yeah, we got cars in the You pits. have to be really you have to be really really gentle on the throttle, especially with cold tires. Uh and a corkscrew is a terrible corner on the cold tires. <laughs> it's invisible. <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> Good thing you're not wearing a green t shirt. <laughs> I know, right? It's my uh, green tea mochi. Ice cream mochi. <laughs> Um, Spirit, you should have watched uh, last week, and we did a hour and a half endurance race with these cars on the uh, Road America. <laughs> and, that, um, the, the last, that was a really good race. Yeah, the last Sunday of this month will uh, be the last race in this IndyCar series, and it will be the actual Indy 500, the full 500 miles. So it's going to be a three-hour broadcast. Hopefully, I'll be racing that day, but I wouldn't mind sitting here for three hours. Talking with you, uh, out of tech, keeping people entertained. You're not. How's it going, Willie? Going, Willie. Yes, Spirit, you heard that good. An hour and a half. <laughs> it's uh, actual endurance racing with pit stops and damage and everything on. It, this is no. Uh, this is not an amateur Forza race. Let's let's say it that way. <laughs> well. That could be questionable with today's race. Yeah, that's uh, something <laughs> miscommunication or something. I think that has nothing to do with the the level of these drivers. But. No. No. So you can see how smooth they go around this track. These cars are really quick. You try them out of tech, you know. Mm -hmm. These oh, are yeah. really quick. How they can race like this is amazing. <clears throat> We haven't seen much incidents in the race. Though, so. I was, was expecting a lot more crashes, especially in the first couple of laps, but they're not fine. Hey, watch the language, you guys are going to trip my bot off. How are you enjoying the race so far, Willie? We're lap 27 to 30, just about done, and then we're going to jump in and uh, run... What, how does he pronounce his name? Arthrian? Arithrin. Arithrin. We're going to run Arithrin's tune and uh, see how close... Oh, look at this. You see Shane's newest fast lap? He knocked it down almost a full second. Yeah, they're, they're running low on fuel. Oh, now, he just so. ran another fastest lap. They're running, they're running really low on fuel now. So it's it's the best laps usually come in the end of the race. They just did a oh no, they're not low on fuel because they just made a pit stop. What am I saying? Just an insanely quick lap. Then. I think Richard said earlier he was tenth in the world with his lap time he did in the race in the beginning of the race. Yeah, because Richard yeah. looked at the leaderboards. Yeah, yeah. Be, well, uh, and he's running with traction control on. That's it. Imagine if you take that mm -hmm. traction control mm -hmm. off. Yeah. If he can well, take that traction the... control off and then um, mm -hmm. and then run full well, speed on, on it. Leaderboard. Oh yeah. He's gonna be on the main leaderboard, not on the hardcore leaderboard though, because traction control. Yeah, but imagine if, like I said, if he could learn the control without that traction control, he'd be the leader in the hard mode too, easily. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't use his racing line. I'm pretty sure most of these people on on race day, they turn their racing line back on. So, I mean, the, only in the corners, right? Where it shows you 
had to break. There's a great battle going on for the last point around 9th place uh, out of tech. Like only the first 10 score points just like in F1 so it's a 4 way battle for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think it's actually a 5 way battle at the moment. There we go, ride back with JC Carr and see what we got going on. Oh it's 6 cars actually. Yes. Uh, all the way great past Captain Wilski, we got a clean pass. Mm -hmm. uh, JC Carr, Red Rum, Red sixth Rum. and seventh. Seven. I'll be back in a minute. Out of tech. Alrighty. <clears throat> See if they all make it through the corkscrew. Oh, JC for a, trying to make a bold pass, still on the inside of Red Rum. Wow. Whoa! And they make contact. JC is out. So disappointing. Push, pushing so hard. Almost made it. And just in the flash of an eye, it's done. What a shame. Well, let's go ahead and ride up with uh, Red Troop here in 8th place. <clears throat> Red Troop trying to catch up the Wilski. Got a few cars knocking on his door back there. Oh, Red Troop wide after a little bump from Fathomed. Everybody's getting a little bit antsy. Oh, yeah, no, on Fathomed off the track. So far, JC and Unfathom both out of the contention for the 7th and 8th place battle. 6th place battle. Yeah, but still on the points, though. Unfathom's yep. going just cross the finish line in 9th. JC and uh, JC ended up making contact. And Diesel's in 10th place. He scored a point. He had a terrible start of the race, but he scored a point. That's a perfect example of why you should never give up. And welcome back. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's race. Uh, definitely a lot of excitement in there. And we look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. So go ahead and leave your comments down below. Any suggestions, thoughts, feedback about the uh, the video and what we can do to make these Sunday races more enjoyable for you to watch, uh, go ahead, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button so other people can find this amazing content. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, be sure to smash it. And then go ahead and hit the notification bell down here in the corner just to make sure that you got it picked on. That way you get all of the notifications as everything comes through. So, and until the next video, have a good night.